Hey everybody, we usually don't do a video on Sunday, but because of the SLB and the SMS, I figured we should probably do one today. Before we get started, many of you have been asking on our live streams and Twitch, because a lot of you care about the family. Well, Christmas is coming up. If you'd like to, in the description of the video and the comment section, there is a link to a Christmas list where you can get stuff for me, the kids, etc. There's something for everybody, like my son, who's obsessed with Spider-Man. Right now, and before you ask, who put that on there? That was the wife. It wasn't me, believe it. Or not. So if you want to check that out, check it. Link in the description below. And let's talk about this leaderboard. I'm not really happy about it, and apparently neither are y'all. Fancy intro music. Yeah. Woo! -hoo! Again, I usually don't do a weekend video. It's usually stuff that I just devote to live streams, but. With this being, we, we asked so long to get our leaderboard back, and we were just really disappointed in how the past couple of months have gone with officer sourcing. So we did. We got the SLB back, which is kind of what we wanted, but it ended up getting a lot of changes. And I'm very curious to see if people agree with me that the changes were, in my opinion, bad. Bad for the game, bad for the player base as a whole. And again... I'm going to try to leave this open-ended. I'm going to give you the numbers because many of you have already come to me. A lot of people in the discords, the Facebooks, and Reddit complaining about this, but is it bad or is it good? Now's the opportunity for you to speak up. Remember, we just did a video talking about quality of life and, and different things that they want to hear feedback on. Well, I've already said, if you want to provide feedback, putting in customer support tickets, messaging the community managers, using content creators, this is how you do it. So, one of those, also comment in the video. Let me know what you think. So, what you're looking at with the SLB is yes, it is a one server SLB. Gives you Ketra Cell as well as Jadzia Dax. Now, whether or not you value the officer or not, that's not the purpose of this video. It really doesn't matter. I don't care if you value the officer, but what matters is are you getting the same amount of value in the SLB versus, you know, last time, like where we just ran an XSLB. So what I want to compare real quick is here's the current points for the first SLB of the month. And I want to compare, and keep in mind that it does still have a little bit of time left. You can see we've got 20 hours left. But so far, 11.2 million points is the top score. When we did the XSLB, uh, this past run, top score for mine was 32.9 throughout the end. Now, that's a two-server run, so higher point total. So, SLB should have the natural advantage of being easier for you to score because you're only fighting against your players. But here's what they ended up doing. They changed the server brackets. It's no longer the same bracket that you were actually just looking at. Now, this is not the same. I did this for just effects. You can see levels. This is our friend Hugo on the uh, his EU server, but the brackets have been changed for everybody. Before, it would have been like a 36 through 39 bracket. And now, the bracket over here is 38 through 41 or 42. We'll look at it in just a second. The brackets were changed completely, putting a lot of players at a disadvantage. And the reason that there's a little bit of a frustration here is it feels, and here, let's uh, look at the brackets. It feels like this is another try to force progression in terms of leveling, which almost seems counterintuitive because a lot of this stuff coming out in the game, for example, the Bajoran faction and Solar Armadas is encouraging players to move horizontally not vertically invest in more ships invest in more researches whether that be financially or time or both and yet now this leaderboard would actually indicate we're trying to move in the opposite direction and and as we know the higher level you go the more pricey it tends to get to run now that doesn't mean that you can't have fun or you can't free to play it but i put on the screen here is last month's leaderboards and over on the right you can see the same leaderboards changed but it's, it's an SLB, right? So it should be somewhat the same. And now with this change, it's a lot harder for you to score. And an argument that some will make, well, before at level 39, you had an advantage where at 39, you could spend and obtain four-star materials. And while it was true, Parabellum and ISS Shelly Brawl weren't paying out that much, and you can still scrap D3s, Mayflowers, Leisures, et cetera, for four-star, and then use those to spend on research. The only thing you could really spin four star on at level 39 is research in the ISS jelly. So it wasn't like this huge disparity, but now that you split it into this bracket, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more difficult. Because 40 and 41 have got a ton of stuff they can spin it on. So now the 38s, 39s are kind of like left in this dead zone and almost like they're told to progress. But the problem is, as we know in this game, there's 
There's nothing at 40 and 41. You have the miners, but that's it. You, it's not until the 42 that you get the new ships, and the new ships that you would then want to run for the solo armadas, and then you've kind of left behind your standard progression of, well, where's your Defiant at? Where's your epic ships at? Or did you even get the ISS jelly? So you made leaderboards more difficult, but not in a way that I feel like improves the game. Again, it's something that I want your opinion on. You leave a comment. I mean, like the video if you agree that this change is an awkward change, one that doesn't really benefit the players or the game. But it wasn't just the SLBs that changed. In fact, it was also the SMSs, and not in a good way. Now, real quick, when I'm about to judge the SMS, I'm, I'm only doing it from a standpoint of Please have some consistency scope. Like, there was a video that some content creator made this year called Standards. And we've talked about the word heroic quite a bit. To the point I think many people are tired of hearing the word heroic. It is what it is. But here's the issue with heroics. They're supposed to be higher scaled. And I get that. But that higher scale is then made up for by the fact the rewards are better, right? We, we can agree, I think, I think we can agree on that for the most part, the rewards are typically better. So here's our Jadzia DAC SLB. Let's back it up and take a look at the Jadzia DAC SMS. Look familiar to anybody? This is a regular SMS. This is not a heroic. It's labeled a regular SMS. And yet, it's the exact same as a heroic SMS for Wei Yun. And I know I complained about the heroic Wei Yun because so much of the RNG was based on the Legacy Decree, but it's not even deniable. This is a better value as a heroic SMS compared to a regular SMS. So you got your SLB back and you got your paired SMS with the SLB back, but you ended up getting a worse value. Not only do the leaderboards change, changing how you can do scoring, which we still can't even count six-star scoring, by the way. Even if you buy a pack, six-star scoring does not count for you. That makes no sense to me. But now, you're getting less value for the actual completion of the SMS. This SMS is worth doing even less than this one. At least with this one, not only did you get the eight-way Yoon charge, you ended up getting 80 total shards through Legacy Decree. It was a heroic. The milestones were super high. And just to get out the way, it is the same, you can see. They were super high, but at least you got a lot for it, even if you couldn't complete it. Now the Jadzia one, are you really going to tell me that the Avatar is worth that? Is that is that the big goop? Big, big, like, yay? Or is it the one extra Jadzia shard in the final milestone? So, I know this video is coming off with a twinge of frustration, and I do try to get your opinion, because maybe... You do like the SLB being better bracketed, or you think that bracket is better, thus you're okay with the SMS being different. But for me, I, I take a big issue with this. We wanted to get this back. It was a big point of feedback. The community managers heard it, the dev team heard it, and we all know why they changed up the sourcing mechanic. You know, obviously they wanted to get a higher infusion of a certain green thing that you know, we change hands with in the US, and different colors in other countries. Cool, whatever. But we got the SLB back, and we got our SMS paired, but now they're not even the same. And again, leave your comments if you agree, disagree. I just, I truly wanna know what you think is the player base because not every time that I make a comment on Discord or, or Facebook am I speaking for the players. I need to know what you think. But mathematically, where's the extra value here? Where, how is this better? How is, Scopely, please explain, the leaderboard change is better for the community. How is that better? Like, how is this superior like this bracket why is this bracket worse than that one over there that you just made because my goal is for this to be a one-time thing like we don't do this again go back to what was working for literally years literally years and if you want to make some adjustments i can kind of understand like here i agree with our high level players 51 through 60 is not a fair bracket i get that but why did you change all the other brackets that were perfectly fine Yes, I do agree that the 50s bracket was ridiculous. And I've talked to high-level players as well. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you don't need to go against level 60s when you're 51. Cool. But what's that got to do with the level 30s and the level low 40s, which was perfectly balanced by many players' opinions, myself included? 
and now has been inbound with the natural state of how players progress and how players want to grow and especially on newer servers really making it difficult to stay competitive in how you progress and that's just this but then the sms was like the, the icing on the cake that just tasted so poorly this is a terribly invaluable sms and for the fact that we've again lost consistency because that's worse than a heroic but isn't even named heroic anyway i want to know what you think this video if you'd be so kind i know it's a weekend video but share it out because i want your comments because my voice only carries weight if you give it weight so if you agree or disagree let me know and if i'm in the wrong rev will shut up rev will just like all right cool i'm i'm an idiot here what do you think about the slb what do you think about the sms do you think it's okay and as always i appreciate you watching this video live long and prosper stay safe for the space cowboys deuces that's me catch you on the next one we outie we're, we're outie we're, go an even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house